everyone. Uh, I'm sorry this has been a late video. It's been like almost two months maybe. Um, there's been a lot of fires going on in this area and I, my family actually had to evacuate and it's been a very stressful time. Um, we just got back a couple days ago though and luckily nothing's been burned down. Um, my mom was coughing up blood there for a little while, but she seems to be doing better. Um, enough about me. Uh, today we're going to just do a general energy check-in because I sort of just let spirit take over on this one. And these are the piles. I drew some cards. I don't usually do that, but I felt drawn to draw some cards for the piles. I think maybe um, those will uh, resonate with you more. Um, the one good thing about being evacuated was that there were some uh, gemstone and tarot shops, small businesses, and so they are a lot less than the ones where I live. And I was able to get um, new gemstones and a whole bunch of new tarot and oracle decks. So I really hope you guys enjoy. So pile one is the lapis lazuli. I actually left the um, tag on the bottom so I could remember. And this is my new hush tarot. So whichever you're drawn to. Pile two is of course rose quartz. And this is the Good Tarot, which I've had for a while if you've been on my channel. And pile three is its Tourmalated Quartz. Hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is the new Muse Tarot that I have here. So whatever pile you're drawn to, whether it's the cards or the crystals or how they're situated or the numbers, just take a moment and figure it out. Alright loves, I will see you at your pile. Hi lovelies, for those of you that chose pile one with the uh, lapis lazuli and the hush tarot as well as some other cards. I'm just gonna set these off to the side. So I just drew, I have a whole bunch of new decks if you stuck around for that long intro. And I drew some oracles, I drew, um... so let's take a look at your tarot cards first. I really love the um, pictures on these. They're so pretty. So the first one was the Hermit. And I love that it's displayed by an owl. The second was the Ten of Cups. And then we, you got the Ten of, goodness, is it Rods or Swords? Let me look it up, but it's that, and one moment, since it's a new deck, I just, so the Ten of Rods, so you got the, the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Rods. Take a look at these real quick. You got loving all of you. Love and accept your inner darkness for greatest self-love, deeply healing, and world mirrors us. It's a yin yang.
and then the Honey Ambrosia. And you actually got two cards from this. It's um, the Vampire Tarot, the Love, Love Vampire. Um, everyone else only got one card from their oracles. So we have Prey, Stalked, Invaded, and Watched, number 31. And we have that death will come, mortal, finite, and fragile, 30. And your quote is, don't wish it were easier, work until you're better. So let me see here. Just give me a moment, guys. So with uh, the Hermit here, which is the Virgo card, and the Don't Wish It Were Easier Work Until You're Better quote, I'm getting a lot of Virgo vibes from this. They generally have um, this motivation to always improve and um, just keep going. They're, they're very judgmental of themselves especially. So I'm feeling that with you guys, that you're kind of judging yourself too much. You're feeling very burdened here with the Ten of Rods. And it looks like it's something to do with um, family. With the Ten of Cups coming out, this is generally um, strong emotional ties. So family, um, very close friends, perhaps romantic interests for some of you. And we have stalked, invaded, and watched prey. Perhaps there was a breach of privacy. There is some sort of um, something that you want hidden but you feel like you're being watched, like you can't hide anything. And it might just be you judging yourself with that Virgo energy coming in. You do have the reminder that you are human here. So you need to remember that um, humans, we all make mistakes. You know, we all have our off days, um, it matters what we do afterwards. It matters how we rise up from that. We have loving all of you. Love and accept your inner darkness for greatest self-love. Yeah, you definitely, I, I feel like you've made a mistake and it has something to do with a secret, with that stalked, invaded, watched. I mean, for some of you, you could have a stalker, but I think for the majority of you, you're, you're trying to keep something secret, but you feel like you can't for some reason. You feel like if you have kept it a secret um, thus far, if, if whoever you're trying to keep a secret from hasn't found out yet, you're feeling very burdened by that. And with this honey, this um, ambrosia coming through, I think it's trying to remind you the quote of, or the saying that you catch more flies with honey than vinegar is coming through. So I think that this is in regards to how you treat yourself and how you treat the situation. You're going to do a lot better if you treat yourself better. If you treat the situation better, you treat the other people in this situation better. I think that we'll draw some clarifiers, of course. I have another tarot deck for you guys, the uh, Tarot Familiars. 
so we'll see what comes through. But it definitely feels like there's some sort of secret and you're judging yourself so much. You're just putting so much pressure on yourself, so many burdens on yourself that you're not being able to enjoy this happy family. You're not able to enjoy these emotional fulfillments, these ties with your family and your friends. This, whatever this secret is, or I'm feeling like for the majority of you, it's only one big secret. But whatever it is, it's really weighing heavily on you. And you need to remember that you are human. It's okay to make mistakes. You need to accept yourself fully for how you are. There's a big difference between accepting yourself for who you are and excusing your actions. Keep that, keep that Virgo energy of wanting to improve, but don't hate yourself. Don't put hate on yourself. You can hate some things that you do and work towards improving them without actually hating who you are. So let's, let's grab some clarifiers here. The Tarot Familiars deck. So let's clarify um, the Hermit, please, Spirit. Let's clarify the Hermit, please. The Nine of Swords. Let me grab out clarifiers and then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please, Spirit. Oh, it flipped. We have the Knave of Pentacles. Um, I believe this is the Knight. Could be Page. Let me check. The Knave of Pentacles. I will check in a moment here. And let's clarify the Ten of Rods, please, Spirit. We have the Queen of Wands. So let's see. Bottom deck here is the Ace of Swords. Yes. There is some sort of secret that it is weighing so heavily on you. You feel the need to tell it. You feel the need to reveal your truths. And I can't say whether or not that's the right thing to do. That is um, for you to figure out because I think it's going to be different for all of you. But there is a lot of burden in holding this secret. So you definitely need to figure out a way to cope. If you decide not to tell this secret, you need to figure, way, figure out a way to unburden yourself, to accept your flaws, accept that you are human and you will make mistakes, accept that... While this is an action you have done, I, I really feel like the secret is something that you have done. Um, sorry about that, guys. My camera just cut out. <clears throat> We're all uh, getting used to this, getting back here. All right. So the Nine of Swords really is exemplifying this burden here that's coming through. And it looks like your way of thinking making this burden for yourself. It could be that it's a secret you can't tell for some reason, and you're burdening yourself by just thinking about it and thinking about it and not accepting that this has become a secret of yours. You can't change the past is what I'm saying. We have the Knave of Pentacles, and this is, this is the page in this deck, the Page of Pentacles, with the Happy Family cards, what I call the Ten of Cups. And so I feel like you're trying to manifest this happy family. You're trying to um, 
keep your emotional ties with your friends, family, uh, romantic interests, whatever it is, very strong. And the secret is coming in the being in the way. And whatever the secret is, it has something to do with attraction with this Queen of Wands coming through. Um, the Queen of Wands is always a very tempting. She is a very attractive energy, a very, um, not super emotional. So maybe for some of you, this is a, um, perhaps you have you know, cheated or, or, um, if it's not romantic, it could be that if this was like for a job, it could be that you are interviewing with other positions and you sort of feel bad for not telling your boss or your employees about it whatever the situation is it there's something that you're not saying with this ace of swords here there's something that because you're not saying it because you're not saying what you did is what i'm hearing um it's burdening your brain. You feel like you should be better than that, is what I'm hearing. You feel like, how can you be focused on the Queen of Wands when you're trying to manifest this Ten of Cups? You know, for the Ten of Cups, you need the Queen of Cups energy, you know, of, of strong love. Um, It's very heavy, your energy. It's very burdened, very stressed coming through. Um, with the lapis lazuli, I, I researched each of these crystals beforehand because I wanted to know what energy you were picking up. So this talks about seeking wisdom um, it encourages honesty. It talks about finding the truth. So it makes a lot of sense that this is the crystal that you chose that you are resonating with. Um, this can help especially with strong emotional ties, which is what you're trying to manifest. So I definitely recommend it for you if you don't have some already. Um, it is... Uh, rooted with the third eye and the throat chakra. So intuition and truth. It releases a lot of stress and I feel like drawn to hold it because I'm, I'm feeling your energy. And I wish I could just like broadcast this crystal's energy to you. So definitely look up uh, Lapis Lazuli if you don't already have it, because I feel like that, that will help you a lot. Let's see if we can get any of the um, My Messages deck here, and then we will draw the charms. Alright, so any messages, please, Spirit, any messages for or about, or we'll see what resonates or pile one, please. Whoa. We have, how are you so perfect? Oh, I just got, you know, I feel like you guys feel less than, you know, that can also be what the nine of swords is referring to. You feel like you don't measure up with someone, whether it's, um, a romantic interest or even just a friendship or maybe you have a rivalry with your sibling it's just you can, you have no idea how do they get this right all the time and you keep messing up even though you're trying you're trying to manifest this perfect family you're wondering how how come i can't do it and you can do it it you really have to release these burdens though Generally, people don't improve through belittling themselves, okay? You, you improve through just perseverance, determination. But you have to, you have to accept yourself. And again, 
there is a big difference between accepting things that you have done in the past and making excuses for those things. So let's see, you'll also have, I want the rest of my life to be with you. Yeah, we got that. You're manifesting something. And if this isn't a person, it could be you really want to stay in your job position, but you're interviewing for some reason. Maybe they aren't paying you enough, or maybe um, maybe you wanted a promotion and you didn't get it. And so you're you're interviewing with other things. You're seeing other possibilities, even though what you really want is to have that promotion, to have that raise. Let's see. We have, I want a fresh start with you. Yeah, you wish you could go back. You wish you, that you didn't have this, this burden on you. I'm feeling that a lot. You, you wish you didn't have this secret. You wish you hadn't done whatever it was that caused this secret to be a secret. Um, but you're feeling so burdened, and it's not, I mean, of course, you feel like whatever this secret is, you shouldn't have done it. I definitely feel that, but that's not all of the burden. The, a lot of the burden is because you're not speaking your truths with the Ace of Swords here. You're not speaking your truths, and I, th I feel like you're still being called to this, this Queen of Wands, even though you're manifesting this happy family, the Ten of Cups. Bottom deck is, I hate myself. Oh, yeah, that's coming through. I said that, you know, you really need to accept yourself here. We have that. Love all of yourself. Love even your mistakes. Because that's how you do improve. Everyone has room for improvement. Remember that you are human. That is coming through so much. Okay, you are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. You can't go back in time. I know you really want to. You have, I wish, or I want a fresh start with you. <laughs> but you can't go back in time. Yes, here it is. <laughs> I almost forgot, but this was your quote. I, I don't know what's with my phone right now, but I cut out again. Uh, don't wish it were easier. Work until you're better. That is your quote. So yeah, don't wish that it never happened. Don't wish that... It just don't focus your energy on trying to reverse time because you're not going to succeed in that. Just focus your energy on loving yourself and improving yourself from here. Let's grab some charms for you guys. I know it's getting kind of late. Alright, what charms please for pile one? What charms do we have? Alright, I think I poked myself with one of the pins, but that's fine. <laughs> okay I did add a couple new charms too uh, we have it looks like a W here we have a two J's actually we have a U We have the Book of Light over here with the, I want a fresh start with you. I think you really want this perfect family and you keep making mistakes and you feel like, you feel less than with that Nine of Swords coming through especially. You feel like you cannot measure up to this perfect person or perfect job or whatever it is. You feel like, crap essentially um especially with that i hate myself coming through oh look you guys underneath that was will you love my shadow self um 
And that was actually reversed. I think that's something that you're not voicing even to yourself. You're worried that this mistake is going to cloud the rest of your life. And you really need you get some of this lapis lazuli. You need to release this energy. We have the umbrella charm reversed on the I want the rest of my life to be with you. Yeah, you aren't prepared for losing this, this person or this job or this relationship, whatever it may be. You're not prepared to lose it. You're not prepared for the worst case scenario. You want this to work out. We have anything as possible, the anything is possible charm. And it, that landed on the loving all of you and the honey. It is possible to love yourself through this. Don't make excuses for what you've done. If you feel it was the wrong thing to do, or you know it is the wrong thing to do, I mean, then don't make excuses. Definitely improve, but you have to love yourself through it. Accept that you are human. That is coming through so strongly here. We have the life, life's an adventure, go live it in reverse. Yeah, I get the feeling you guys are trying to settle down with something. Whether it be a relationship or a job or or family, trying to settle family. It's uh, Most of the time I get Sagittarius energy, but I feel with this one it's Libra energy coming through. You're just striving for balance. You're striving to be unburdened. Oh, there's, a, there's an H over here too. Whoa. Just wants to fall over the place. I'm hearing happy. It landed right here on the Ten of Cups when I dropped an accident. Um, you are striving for happiness. You're trying to find your happiness. And this mistake, you feel like it can shatter everything. And Spirit just wants you to unburden yourself. This is my new um, charm. One of my new charms, I actually have the little info about it. It's the Burden Bear. And it was reversed. You do need to release this, release this energy, the heaviness of it, I mean. Of course, don't just like forget that you made a mistake, but believe in yourself. We have the I believe in you charm coming through. You need to believe in yourself. You need to love yourself. We have the flex we have the flexibility band. Yeah, don't um let go of what happened. Like, don't forget, but give yourself some space. You, you are human. That's coming through so strongly. You are human. You can't do everything perfectly all the time. This person that you think so perfect, I'm sure that they have flaws as well. And it may, might be very different flaws from you, but they are flaws. They are things that they want to improve, and I'm sure. We have the whistle. Yeah, someone is trying to <laughs> land it over here again. Someone is trying to get your attention. Spirit is trying to get your attention. That you need to... There is some sirens going on. That's great. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, we live sort of next to a busy road. Uh, Spirit is trying to get your attention. They're trying to make you understand that you need to see things from a new perspective here with that giraffe as well. You need to take this, this awful energy and turn it into a strength. I mean, the best, or Virgo at its, at its worst, with that, remember I said that, her, that Virgo energy is coming through. Virgo at its worst is judgmental of their, themselves, is um, so... So believing that things should be perfect, go perfectly, that you get this energy, which is just a hate, a strong hate for themselves, a uh, worry that their shadow self is not lovable. They separate the, the two sides, the yin-yang. They just don't want to believe that the dark side is there at all. But it is. You are human. It is always there. There is a dark side. We have that Scorpio coming through. That could be because you need a little bit more of the Scorpio energy. Scorpios um, are known for understanding that dark side and still persevering, persevering through it. 
you know, understanding that that dark side is necessary with that yin yang. There's always a little bit of the light in the dark and a little bit of dark in the light. You cannot live without both of them. Um, so you just need to, you just need to forgive yourself is what I'm hearing, really. You need to forgive yourself, even if you're not at the loving yourself stage, loving yourself. Alright, sorry again, you guys. I think I fixed the problem with my phone. And so, this giraffe coming through is seeing that different perspective. I think, um, also, with so much of accepting your flaws coming through, that is why only the light book came out. You only want to accept your light side. You only want there to be the light side. But look, we have Scorpio as the dark side coming out. We have the yin-yang here. And even, I feel like, remember I said Libra energy with this instead of Sagittarius. I feel like you're trying to balance your life and you're not sure. It's not that you're not sure how to do it. It's just that you're going about it the wrong way when you harm yourself. Remember what I was saying with this honey card? You need to help yourself through attractive things like honey. You need to help yourself through loving yourself, not by vinegar, not by hating yourself here. So that is all for you guys. I'm so sorry about the uh, camera thing. Hopefully that is improved for the next group. But please get the lapis lazuli. It also helps with depression and with the I hate myself coming through, not being sure if someone or even yourself can love your shadow self coming through. I highly recommend it for you guys. And if them, this Ace of Swords, whatever it is, the secret, if you choose to share this secret to unburden yourself with that Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands coming through, if you decide to unburden yourself, then no matter what it is, or no matter how that person reacts, or your job reacts, or your family reacts, you still need to love yourself through it. Love yourself, but don't make excuses. Always improve. You know, Virgo at its best is not judgmental in a negative way. Virgo at its best is positive improvements, is seeing where they need to improve and working hard to achieve that. Instead of, you know, seeing in a, way, a place that they need to improve and just hating themselves for it, just tucking it away into the dark side, just forgetting about the dark look. You need both. You need balance, you guys. All right. I hope that helped you. Remember, lapis lazuli. You need that crystal. Bye. Hi, loves. For those of you that chose pile two with the rose quartz and the good tarot, when I've had for a while, I'm gonna put this over here. So we have, let's see, tarot first, and then we have some oracles and a quote for you. We have the ace of pentacles. The Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. It's definitely a, a new start, a fresh start coming. I feel like you've been working hard for it with that Queen of Earth coming through here. We have Photograph. Looking at your photos, Missing You, Nostalgia. Making new memories. Again with a new. Ace, ace, new. 
We have She Who Forgives, Elixir, Remorse, Guilt, Forgiveness. I feel like you're forgiving yourself. Not sure for what, though. We'll get clarifiers for the tarot in a minute. We have Muspell, Lord of Misfits. Maybe you're forgiving yourself for doing something unusual? It's an interesting energy. We have good things take time. Oh, maybe you're forgiving yourself um, for taking longer than you would have liked on something. Maybe um, taking longer than you would have liked to start something new. Whether it's like changing work positions or even starting a new career. Or if it's a romantic thing, it could be, you know, breaking up with someone to start something new or start going back into the dating world. Whatever it is, you're going in with a headstrong attitude. The Queen of Pentacles takes care of business. Let's grab some clarifiers for the tarot cards here. I'm going to use the, oh goodness, the vice versa tarot. So we don't read reversals exactly. Uh, it's just off sides of the card. So please, Spirit, why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here, Spirit? Whew. We have the... King of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Queen of Pentacles. It's a uh, almost succession. It's like you've It's like right now you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy, but you're striving to become the King of Pentacles. You're working on taking over your life to take control of it. Is what I'm hearing. Let's, um, why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Oh, some are flipping in here, but not quite coming out. Why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Whew, come on. Okay, the Ten of Rods. Ten of Rods, let me see. In reverse. Hmm. Let's clarify the Queen of Earth and then I'll you what I'm thinking or feeling here. Please cl clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. There's an interesting energy for you guys. It's like there's, um, I think there's two messages trying to come across. One to do with the work, with all the pentacles coming through, definitely, but one to do with emotions, too. It's almost like you're, you're focusing on work to try to try to forget about your emotions because they're feeling so heavy right now. They're feeling like something you can't fix is what I'm hearing. They feel like we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. Bottom deck energy here is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yes, okay. You guys feel, or what I'm feeling from you and from this pile, is that you've taken way too long to do something. And you're trying to remember that good things take time. You're trying to be, at the very least, a queen, queen of pentacles here. Be headstrong, be determined, steady. 
but you're not quite where you want to be with that king of pentacles in reverse you're only a queen right now which is very close i mean usually um i get like ace of pentacles and then there'll be nothing higher uh but you guys have the ace which means a new start in this case and the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles in reverse so you have a lot of pentacles here and the, and the um, knight of pentacles in reverse so many pentacles you're trying to ground yourself you're trying to with that ace of cups it could be a romantic thing but definitely it's kind of like this ace of cups is hidden by these pentacles you know we have pentacles 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 the only thing is that with the clarifying the Ace of Cups, we had the Ten of Wands. It's like you're very burdened by your emotions. Maybe you're trying to forget someone with that photograph here. You're trying to... Ooh, I just got the image of... You know the old-fashioned um, photos when you could uh, print... Or, or uh, I guess, print, for lack of a better word, images over another one to sort of forget about the old image. That's what I'm seeing with you guys with this photograph. You're trying to make new memories to forget about something else. To forget about your emotions, your emotional ties to those. I think you're trying to forgive you're trying to forgive yourself, but I feel like there's someone else that you need to forgive also. You feel sort of lost with this Lord of Misfits. It's not a, um, a Loki sort of energy. It's not like a deceitful one. You just feel... Hmm unusual. You feel like you don't fit in right now. You're trying to forget about it. You're trying to focus on the positive, focus on your work, focus on um, your goals, start up new things, make new memories. And Spirit's trying to remind you that good things take time. Let's grab, um, I'm getting a little bit of romance here, but let's grab the uh, uh, deck for messages and let's see what comes through. So any messages, please, Spirit? Any messages for Pal 2? Any messages for Pal 2? Spirit, not the whole deck. Let's not do that. That's way too many. We're going to be here for hours. Just a few cards, all right? Just... Can we narrow it down to just a few? We have, I want to surprise you. Maybe you're trying to improve yourself for someone and you want to surprise them that you have accomplished so much. And you're doing really well with the Queen of Pentacles. You're almost to the King. You have, what will they say? You're very worried about their opinion of you, I think. interesting you're worried about someone's opinion of you you're worried that you're gonna be judged for just being a queen of pentacles here we have lying is easier maths are easier Yeah, I feel like you're trying to mask over your emotions with that Ace of Cups sort of being covered up with these pentacles. You're trying to forget about your emotions. You're trying to, while at the same time of trying to forget about your emotions, it's like they're, your actions are rooted in whoever this person is. And it doesn't have to be love, but I am drawn towards love. Ace of Cups usually means an unconditional love. And we have a lot of forgiveness coming through. 
plus the rose quartz. Um, rose quartz is a romance um, gemstone. It usually means love. It does have. It is linked to the heart and the throat chakras. And but it can mean like self care, um, healing past trauma. Um, it also means unconditional love, though, with the the same thing as the Ace of Cups. It's like the Ace of Cups embodied as a gemstone. So it's like everything that you're doing, even though you're trying to forget these emotions, even though you're trying to put on this mask, it is linked back to this love. It doesn't have to be necessarily a uh, romantic. I mean, if you're not looking for that sort of message, it could be a work situation in that maybe, hmm, you know, in this case, I don't think it's work, but it could be family or friends. It could be maybe you had a fight with a friend recently and you really want to have them in your life, but you can't do anything to fix it right now. So you're trying to focus on work. But even just with the gemstone you were drawn to here, the rose quartz, it shows that this, these cups, these emotions are pu pushing through the surface of you. That's what I mean as all, all of your actions are still drawn to this, whatever the situation is. Bottom deck is I won't let go of you. Yeah, you don't want to let go. You don't actually want to get rid of these emotions. It's just that that is the situation right now. Let me pull these down here. That is the situation right now and you feel stuck. Definitely with that Knight of Pentacles too. You feel stuck. It's like um, you're in the desert where he is and you know where to go, but you don't know the map to get there. You don't know how to do it. You just feel sort of, you feel like good things do take time, but you feel like you've been waiting so long and you're worried. You're worried that the surprise won't work out. You're worried about what this person will think of you or these people, if it's like your whole family. And you're trying to just cover it up and push through. Let's get um, some charms. And they might give some advice or um, some further clarification here. So please, Spirit, charms for Pal 2. Ooh, you got a lot more charms than Pal 1. Okay. So... <laughs> we have a rose over here and I'm laughing because this came out this is a love charm and it threw itself off the cards it's it was all the way over here which is like it, it is you this is your energy you are trying to kill whatever emotions you have right now and it is not working out because it's they're still there we have the, the heart, and this actually landed on little sister, um, the little sis on this side. So I feel like for a lot of you, it could be family instead of a romantic interest. That coming through. Maybe you had a recent fight with a sibling. We do have two ones, one and one, and then a 17. So maybe one, one or 11. 11 11 or November 17th perhaps for letters we have an L an X so for some of you it could be an X relationship as well a U an N A Q, I think that's it for letters, but you do have the cross. So I only have one of these in there and um, 
it's on what will they say. So I feel like for, I feel like you feel like whatever the emotions are, they don't align with your beliefs. Maybe you've been hurt in the past and you've made this decision to sort of block out those emotions when they come through. And so whatever your beliefs are, even if you don't um, believe in God, it's whatever your beliefs are, you feel like this is wrong in some way. Because it landed on what would they say. And I love this here though. We have the friends on what on what will they say. And it's surrounded though by bottled up emotions. It's like you want to tell your friend something and the you rock. So on one hand, I feel like you, you're worried about what your friends will think definitely. And you really want to tell them with that bottled up emotions there, but you're holding back because they're bottled up. You're holding back because you're worried about what they'll say. And on the other hand, the you rock came out, so it feels like you think that they're so awesome that they'll be helpful, but you're sort of really torn between these two choices on whether to tell them or not tell them. We have good things take time and the surprise llama landed on there. And I feel like in this case, you feel like good things take time is just sort of a throwaway sentence or statement to you. You're like, I've been waiting so long. Good things take time, sure, but this is ridiculous. We have the fox landing on the ace of pentacles here. So yeah, exactly what I'm thinking is, what I'm feeling with this is that you are throwing yourself into these pentacles as sort of a trick for yourself. You're being clever in doing this. And it's a deceitful cleverness, but not a deceit to someone else. It's a deceit towards yourself. We have um, another ball that motions here on Lord of Misfits. Yeah, you do have some secrets on your own that you're just not saying. It's like... Oh, it's like you are a secretive person in general. We do have the Scorpio charm down here. So you could be a Scorpio or another sign that just really likes to keep to themselves. And it's Lord of Misfits that that bottled up emotions landed on. So it could be that you just, you usually feel sort of out of place. And that might be why you also make having this, uh, this decision whether to share these emotions or not is such a difficult one. You have a difficult time trusting, I think. We have uh, Pisces energy coming through on the I Want to Surprise You. And that actually makes me think of the original eighth, or actually is it, no, it's the Page of Cups. It makes me think of the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, it talks about surprise. And um, in the original card, it has a cup with a fish jumping out of it. So I think that just, you really want to surprise someone, I think is what it's saying. It's almost like you want to surprise yourself too. You want to show yourself that you can forget about these emotions. We have Aquarius coming through and that's it. Aquariuses are the odd ones of the Zodiac, you know, and they landed near Nor the Lord of Misfits. So definitely you feel like an outcast in a way. You feel unlike everyone else, oh, excuse me, in your friendship group or in your family circle. We have the I love you charm here on She Who Forgives. I think you really want to forgive and trust, but you have that Scorpio energy just sort of holding you back. I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio is a great sign. I mean, all the zodiac signs are great in some way, but they don't trust easily and they don't forgive easily. And I feel like you really want to trust and forgive someone because you care about them a lot with that I love you coming through. You might even love them if it's a romantic interest. But it's almost like with this pig fly here, you don't see how... <laughs> it's trying to fly away. You don't see how you can forgive them. 
It's like, I'll forgive them when pigs fly, is what I'm hearing. We have the pineapple over here with making new memories. So you could be traveling to make new memories. You could be throwing yourself into like restaurants or foodie blogs or something like that. You could, whenever I think of, whenever I see the pineapple, I always think of uh, traveling in some way though, because I think of like going to Hawaii or um, just more exotic locations. But it doesn't have to literally mean travel also. It could mean just the new memories thing. You're trying to cover it up. And I also think of inside a pineapple is sweet. And on the outside it's so hard and rocky. And that's sort of like a Scorpio energy. It's sort of like this energy that you're coming through in general. Is that you're trying to protect yourself is what I'm hearing. You're trying to protect yourself by making it all hard on the outside, making yourself hard on the outside. But you're really torn about this. You want to trust. You want to um, move past this. We have over here, we have another Scorpio sign. Another Scorpio sign. And we have the Taurus Taurus. And it landed with the lying is easier, masks are easier. And all your signs are very good at putting up masks, so that's one thing. And then Scorpios are the water sign that's best at putting up masks. Um, but also, both of those are very stubborn signs. And I think you're very set in your ways. And so to sort of release this control and let time keep going to let um to, to fully believe in this good things take time energy you'd have to let go of control and you really don't you really don't know how to do that i don't even want to say you don't want to do that it's just this is the way you are and you don't know how to do that with the umbrella landing over here on the Knight of Pentacles reversed, I do feel like you're just trying to prepare for the worst case scenario. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does make it so that you do feel like an outcast, like a misfit. You do feel like you're sort of blocked off from your friends, like you can't tell them certain things. You do feel like... Like lying is easier, maths are easier. You feel, you sort of trap yourself in that thinking. And it's great to be prepared, but it's also great to trust people. And it's sort of a balance that you're still working on, I think. With this um, Queen of Rods in reverse here, it's almost like... You're trying not to let your passions come through. You're trying not to let your true emotions come through. You don't want to be carried away. All I'm seeing here is just that thick trees wrapping around. It's like you're trying to stick your emotions in this, wrap it around, and not let it out. You know, holding it back is what I'm hearing. Um, they're making me think of a trees in like a... Uh, animes and things like that magic stuff in where they're able to be controlled if they're able to be controlled I mean they just wrap around someone and grab them back and I feel like you're trying to do that with your emotions you're just wrapping grabbing them away <laughs> and um especially with that rose just being thrown away that's exactly the imagery but the spirit is kind of trying to say you need to trust. You need to let go of that control a little bit. Good things will come. It's trying to remind you of that. Um, you can surprise yourself. You know? You can't forget about the this um, love that's coming through. Whether it's romantic or not. I think for a lot of you it's romantic. And then for a lot of you it is a family tie with that little sister coming through. It could literally be your little sister. Or you could be the little sister in that case. 
I actually got this um, stone with my sister. So she had the has the big sisters somewhere, and I had the little sister. And we fight all the time, but it's gotten better as we've gotten older. You can, I'm getting, you can forgive. It's hard. It's difficult. You might feel the pain much later than you would like. Like, it might come back. But you can work through this. If you truly don't want to let go of this person, you will make it happen. Look, I will wait forever if I must is underneath that. And then we have the I forgive you. Yeah. You will reach this forgiveness state in both with this person or people and with yourself, I think. As long as you wait. And I don't think you actually have to wait forever. I think you just need to accept that it might be forever, if that makes sense. You, It's not that... It's just letting go of the timing is what that means. You need to just let it go. I'm feeling a lot of control in this um, pile. All right, that is your reading for today. And I really hope that helped you. Um, Spirit is really just, just wanting you to let go of the timing and things will go a lot smoothly. It might hurt, it might sting a little bit. Um, definitely if you are like a pineapple, like a Scorpio with those walls boarded up, it really, it feels not safe at times. It's, you still feel a lot of the pain at times when you let those walls down for someone or for some people. Um, but it is worth it in the end. You know, you have to have ties to people. You can't make yourself so much of an outcast that you feel less than you are. So, love you guys. Please take care of yourself. Hi lovelies! For those of you that chose pile 3, this is the Tourmalated Quartz and my new Muse Tarot. I'm just going to put these over to the side. Let me just take a sip of my drink. Ah. All right. So I have tarots here. I have some oracles. And I have a quote for you. And then we'll draw some more um, clarifiers. And, of course, charms. Uh, let's start with the tarot first. We have the Hierophant. We have um, the Page of Inspiration. This is the Page of Rods, I believe. And we have the Muse of Emotions, which is the King of Cups. We have, for oracles, we have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there's enough abundance for everyone. Oh, you guys have such a lighthearted energy compared to the other groups. We have trust. Yes. Beautiful, you guys. Um... For your botanical inspirations oracle, you have, I'm going to be off with these. Uh, it's called Tick Seed, Always Joyful. And it says, write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. Rolf Waldo Emerson. It's a pretty yellow flower. And then for your quote, it's, doubt isn't a pleasant condition, but in certain but certainty is absurd. I feel like you guys are letting go of control. Um, and that's in a good way. Uh, the, my, the last uh, pile was all about being in control. And I feel like you guys have moved past 
the needing to have control of everything stage. You guys are going into a beautiful energy here. Let me see. With the Hierophant here, it could be Taurus. That is the Taurus card. Um, Tauruses are very stubborn and set in their ways. But actually in this, the imagery in this is so pretty. It's almost like, um, I don't know, it's a big open space. It feels less controlling than the typical um, Taurus card, typical Hierophant. Then we have the Page of Rods, Page of, page of Inspiration. This is um, focusing on your creativity, focusing on the things that make you happy. Um, finding this, this passion in your life again. We have the uh, King of Cups too, again with the passion. You guys are going into a beautiful emotional state. You guys are heading into this um, state of being that is that is emotionally fulfilled, you are chasing your passions, and you're still upholding with that Hierophant, you're still upholding um, what you think is best. You know, you're not, not letting go of your morals and values. We have trust. I feel like you guys are starting to trust in the universe again, or for the first time, for some of you, perhaps. I love these uh, drawings, but it's just a beautiful energy coming from you. We have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Spirit is saying that there is, you are like right before a whole bunch of love and light. And I think it's a lot, largely because you have this beautiful energy that you're pulling in here. We have always joyful. Yes, that's your energy. There's so much joy coming through here. And I think you guys still have your doubts with that Hierophant. I think naturally you want to be more in control. But, and with the, uh, the doubt is in a pleasant condition. But uncertainty is absurd. It's like you guys are, you guys are naturally ones who want to be in control. But you're starting to see the, the benefits of trusting in the universe, of trusting that abundance is coming, of focusing on your passions with that page of inspiration, of focusing on being happy with the always joyful. You're seeing the benefits of when you focus on these things, when you focus on the emotional fulfillment, you are able to achieve a lot. And it's not, it's not as bad as, I, as you thought it would be, I think is what I'm hearing here. Let me grab some clarifiers. I'm just going to use the Tarot to Go deck. Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that this is a typical deck that I use, or very common, I mean. Hierophant is clarified by Temperance. Yes, you guys are balancing your energy. Um, temperance, that is Sagittarius, actually. So I think for some of you, it might be um, traveling. The tourmalated quartz is a very grounding energy. And um, it also can be protection while traveling. And with uh, Sagittarius energy, they love travel. It can also be, um, it also deflects negative energy and helps improve spiritual growth. It, um, helps you balance, which is exactly what temperance is there. It's uh, all about balance. It also is good luck, which is you have the abundance and the trust and joy coming through. You have a lot of good luck happening in your life right now. Um, I'm not exactly feeling it right now, but this crystal also helps rid feelings of um, alienation and abandonment. So if you have any of those in your past, I would suggest getting this crystal, the Tourmalated Quartz. Also, this um, is linked to the, to the root chakra. So that is uh, the grounding. Let's see. Um, please clarify the Page of Wands here, Spirit. Please clarify the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, please, Spirit. Mm. 
the Knight of Wands in reverse. Whoa, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Rods and the Ace of Cups. You know, they appeared to me like this, but when the second one came out, I saw them this way. So, the Knight of Rods and the Ace of Cups, it's like um, you're moving forward kind of impulsively to follow your passions, but it is rooted in love. It is rooted in emotions. It's not a negative impulsivity. Impulsivity. <laughs> Um, but it is definitely something that you weren't expecting. I don't feel like you've really planned it. It is just sort of coming at you. And you're accepting it. You're kind of rolling with the punches right now. Uh, it is definitely a Sagittarius thing to roll with the punches. And you're focusing on it. You're making it happen. Or not even making it happen, I guess I should say. You are seeing that it's happening and you're accepting it, which is great. We have two again. You guys, three. Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys got the most clarifiers. Uh, for the king of emotions here, we have the queen of swords, the ten of cups, and the queen of cups. Interesting. And this is all around the king of emotions. So I feel like with this Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, these are polar opposites. So I think this definitely has to do with that temperance, that balancing, that yin yang. You guys are finding it. And the King of Cups is definitely very good at balancing his emotions and his intellect. He is the probably the most well-rounded of the kings. Um, and you have both of those here. And if you see, they're kind of looking towards each other too. It's like a, a good harmony balance there. And then in between them, you have the 10 of cups. This is what I call the happy family card. So you guys are reaching this very happy state in your lives. I feel like it's been a long time coming too. Bottom deck is the fool in reverse. Yeah, you don't know entirely where you're going, especially with that Sagittarius energy and with um, certainty being absurd and with trusting the universe. You're not entirely sure what route you're taking right now, but you are all for whatever route is coming your way because you feel so good about it. And the universe is saying, just trust me, keep trusting me, and I can help you with this, this joy, this abundance, this happy family. I can help you with that if you just trust me. Keep trusting me, as what I'm hearing. I think you guys are starting to trust the universe again or for the first time. And you're seeing these great things happening. And so you're, you're, you're letting go of this Hierophant control a little bit. You're trying to fall into that Sagittarius temperance, the go with the flow energy. And it's okay that you don't see where you're going because you see this abundance, you see this joy, you see this um, inspiration for yourself. Uh, let me grab, actually, I'll start with these messages. So any messages, please, for Pile Free. Any messages? Any messages, Spirit? Anything you gotta say? Whoa! Boop, boop, boop. All right. I'll take both of these. Any more messages, please, Spirit? Anything else you have to say? Mm -hmm. All right. So we have... Without you, I have nothing, and it's in reverse. I feel like you guys are starting to see your own value. You're starting to see that you can do better than you thought you could originally. You're starting to um, improve on yourself. And what I mean by that is you're seeing your own worth. You're, 
you're seeing that you don't have to have this person or this thing or whatever it is in order to have value. You are something. You will always be something. And it's something good. It's something beautiful. You have this beautiful energy. We have, I'm so confused. Yeah, letting, you guys are letting go of some control here. And you're used to being in control. And so you're definitely a little confused. You're like, I... I, is this what always could happen if I just sort of trusted the universe? And so it's a little confusing and I don't think that um, you could always have done this. I think this is divine timing here. We have it hurts. I think it kind of hurts because you feel like you're doing this a little late to be honest. It feels like I think that's why trusting again is coming through or trusting for the first time. It's like you didn't do it before and it kind of hurts that these were possibilities for you and you're only just now reaching this point of letting go. I'm not sure why that's coming through, but maybe it resonates with some of you here. Let's grab some charms too and see what can be clarified here. So please spirit, further charms to let it or charms to let us know further about pile three and their situation here. Okay. I might have stabbed myself a second time. I swear there's a pin in here that just uh you know I'll have to look it over. Okay. So let's start with letters. We have a W. I heard win. It's like you're winning for the first time. We have a Q. I heard queen with that. I usually don't hear anything with Qs. You're trying to you're trying to treat yourself like a queen for the first time in a while. You're you're treating yourself like you have more worth. For numbers, we have a three and a nine. Those may be of importance to you. Three, nine, 39, 93. We have an M. We have a K. We have over here a C and a J. We have a T, and those, it looks like those are all your letters. On the I'm so confused, you have the um, twin flames. This is the relationships thing. I think for some of you, you're confused about a relationship, and that's reversed, and you also have some bottled up emotions. So it feels like, even though you're expanding, you're doing better, you're, you're seeing these, um, you're seeing the benefits of trusting the universe. You're seeing the abundance that comes through trusting the universe. It's still, there's still some things that need to be wrapped up. You feel like maybe something happened in your past with the twin flames, the yin yang coming through. And you're kind of wondering why, you know, you're, you're sort of confused. Like maybe you have tried in the past to trust the universe and it backfired. And so you're wondering why now? Why why does why is it working right now? Why couldn't it have worked before? And you're just confused on, on the timing of it all. But really part of trust in the universe is you just you we don't get to control the timing. We don't get to, you know, control when it works out. And I, I know we all wish we could. But um it just is the way that it is. You know, spirit, God, whatever you believe in, they have their own timing for things and we don't know why, we'll probably never know why, but it is for the best. We have to trust, we have to trust that it is for the best. So we have, you also have a the umbrella upside down. In this case, I feel like you guys have kind of thrown your umbrella away. With the Hierophant, Hierophants usually carry an umbrella. Um, 
And what I mean by that is Hierophants are usually prepared for anything. And I feel like you guys kind of tossed your umbrella to the side with it being upside down over here. But you're kind of seeing that you don't need it as much either. You're not relying on it. You're not relying on a plan of action. You're, you're feeling more good with the flow, whatever that means for you. So like... For some of you, maybe you have completely throw plan thrown plans out the window. And for others of you, I think that you've just sort of released some of the control of it. You've let more possibilities happen. Like maybe if you were the type of person that always planned a full itinerary when you went on vacation, right now you're letting back. You're like, I'm planning where we're going and like two events and the rest, we'll see where it takes you see where it takes me is what you're saying um with that you have nothing we have the compass reversed in this case i feel like you had a direction set that you wanted to go and i think this had to do with some sort of romantic interest with the romance rose coming through you feel very tied like your life's been very tied to someone and when um this tied this person that you were tied to left or something happened or whatever you kind of felt like you didn't have a direction you didn't know where exactly what you exactly were going to do it's like you were following this direction for so long and you felt lost but with the direction sort of turned upside down here um and the without you i have nothing reversed it feels like you're creating your own path and it's not that you are dictating out your own path because there's a lot of letting go of control here it's that you are following like a divine light you are following the light of the universe creating the path before your eyes um and this is definitely a change of perspective with that giraffe coming through this is um not something you are used to doing I don't think you are prob you're probably not a Sagittarius. You're probably not a very go with the flow person in the grand scheme scheme of things. And so this is something that's very unusual for you, but you you're liking it and you're surprised that you like it too. We have these three things that land on the Queen of Swords. We have the Book of Dark, which it feels kind of like yin yang here. The book of dark here, the burden bear, this is one of my new charms. And Gemini, which is kind of split personality, split. Um, Geminis are, are great in their own way, but they are known for being kind of uh, two-faced in a way. It's not to say all of them are anything like that. It's just, they definitely have very, they're able to separate themselves out, is what I'm saying. And this landed on the Queen of Swords with the Burden Bear and the Book of Dark. I think that for a lot of you, you definitely have a lot of things that you need to release. A lot of um, history, a lot of pasts that you need to release. But you are on the correct path to do so. You need to trust, keep trusting in the universe, is what's here. We didn't have um, just the Queen of Swords to clarify this King of Cups. We had the Queen of Cups, which is the King of Cups, you know, wife. We had the Ten of Cups, which means you're on the right path in getting to that emotional fulfillment, true happiness. We had the Ace of Cups. We have the um, Ace, is it Ace? No, Page of uh, Rods there to sort of give you the inspiration. And this is definitely not what you're used to with that, that full in reverse. You are stepping into the dark. Bottom deck here was, I hate myself. No. That was um, the same thing for pile one, I believe. I think that um, there's a lot of dark, a lot of dark that needs to be balanced in your mind but you are on the right path you are making it there you need to learn to love your shadow self we have that here 
Oop. You will learn to do this if you continue to trust spirit. Continue to trust that spirit will give you the abundance and the joy and the inspiration, the creativity is what I'm hearing that you need to keep moving forward. Um, that is all that I have for you today. I really hope that helped. My sons are getting a little anxious, so I have to go anyway. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. Um, thank you so much. Bye.